वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास इलेवन इंग्लिश क्लासेस कंडक्टेड बाय योर इंग्लिश टीचर मोनिका कौर बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद हॉन बिल प्लीज आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल पोएम वन अ फोटोग्राफ पार्ट वन मदर्स मेमोरीज इन अ cardboard Welcome students to class 11 English classes Today we are going to do the next chapter of Hornbill and that is the first poem of Hornbill that is called a photograph It has been written by Shirley Tolson This poem is really very emotional as well as sweet poem Students Before I start with the introduction of the poem let's see about or let's read something about the poet Now Shirley Tolson the poet was born on 20th May 1924 in England She was really a very brilliant British writer She had in each and every means that uh, in each and every writing a very very beautiful weaved relationship love and separation she died on 15 may 2014 but her writing in a form of this photograph is there with us now let's start the introduction of the photograph this photograph somewhere else tells us the contrast between the uh, living of the nature means that permanent livelihood of the nature and temporary livelihood of the human beings this photograph actually is been referred to the mother's photograph her own mother's photograph who died almost 12 years ago and this photograph whom we are talking about here is of her mother when she was of 12 years old of that age this photograph actually had a path of emotions had a path of separation this photograph poem is being divided into the three paragraphs each paragraph has its own emotional journey through that feeling the three of the uh, photograph paragraphs actually make a uh, poetess to move into the nostalgic memories now nostalgic means sweet and bitter memories when her mother was alive and when she was no more she was just captured now inside the cardboard means photograph or in other activities materials okay so now let's go on with the theme of this poem the theme of this poem is loss memory and the transience of life now today here transience means means what temporary life obviously nature never feels any loss nature does not have any memory and nature is permanent also so this theme is a photograph about the human beings this is when we lost someone our near ones and dear ones that emotional setback that grief that pain usually remains always there with us but when we lost someone that someone always been there with us in our memories that that is the past memories in any sort of the form okay and next is this poem also tells us that life of living beings are really what temporary on this earth but we have to live with those losses we have to live with those griefs and we have to live with those pains i hope you people understood the theme of the poem now let's see what these three sentences tells us before i give you proper summary of the poem the first sentence tells us early adolescence means 
when she was growing, when she was young, that activities, the adventure she used to do, means she was the same like you people as you people are adventurous in your life. The same way, the first paragraph shows that how beautifully she was living in her life. Okay? In her knees here, mother. Then second stanza tells us adulthood. It means responsibility. When she gained that adulthood, when she got the responsibility of a mother, daughter-in-law, wife, or a societal responsibilities, although she was not that adventurous at that time, but still she loved that to at least memorize those those activities or those things or those that time which she had already spent with laughter because time and tide never come back to death. The third stanza tells us about death. That is the ultimate silence. Now this, someone's death doesn't make that person silent, but also make that person's loved ones also in a silent mood. But we have to go on with our life because show must go on. So this is the introduction of the poem. I hope you people have understood. If any query, please do comment in the comment section. Okay, students? Before I sign off, students, I would like to request you again to please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also, please tell your friends to like, share and subscribe my channel so that you people would be updated. Thank you.